nightmare. Now I'm supposed to do more of these episodes than that. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Bat Friends Podcast, where two friends rediscover an anime classic. I'm one of your hosts, Chris, alongside my co host, very angry co host, Joe. We only rediscovered if you fucking remember where the files are. So. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! If anyone wants a treat, go to <laughs> patreon.com slash Fortress Comic News and give like a dollar and two dollars. Because <laughs> production meeting. Because of the way Patreon fees are set up now, yeah. if people give us a dollar, you get nothing. <laughs> so just two dollars. It's two dollars. Okay. We still get like a dollar. <laughs> so we're gonna make it two dollars after this. Um <clears throat> and you'll get Bat Friends three days early. But um Oh really? Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, well, I don't make any money on Patreon, so I'm able to pay you. But <laughs> no, no, I meant getting it early. Yeah, I don't make any fucking money on Joe Meets World. <laughs> but you don't see anything either. Um, what was this? Oh yeah, so yeah. go there and you'll get a special episode. It's one time only because I lost the file. No, I found <laughs> it. Better it. be one time only. <laughs> So you get to watch or listen to us for free, do it the real way, and then if you want to pay the two dollars, you can listen to George get really mad at the fact that we have to re-record an episode that the second we finish, he goes to say and goes, Oh hey, there's the other one. I go, Are you serious? Yeah. And now we're here with gay Alfred. This is my favorite Alfred. This is the one <laughs> when we and I swear to God, I'm going to make it happen. When we do a sit-around reading of a script, uh-huh. this is going to be the episode. Because <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger, Alfred, in this episode. <clears throat> mm-hmm. just, this is directed by Kevin Altieri and written by Beth Bornstein. <laughs> All I can imagine in my head is that it was Paul Dini. And for some reason, he were like... What's that say? <laughs> Paul Paul Dini. <laughs> Bornstein. Kevin Altieri. He's a good guy. He, he apparently does good work. He remembers where to save files. <laughs> Listen, you don't know. Maybe this is the second draft. <laughs> <laughs> they went through animated it once. I don't know, man. We just we lost all the film. What do you mean you lost the film? Well, here's where all the other one is. Yeah, but... We're, how do you, it's canisters. They were hand drawn cells back then. Listen, I hit sit, file save it. That's not a thing. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Ooh, topiaries. See, I don't believe that ivy would have topiaries because that would involve pruning the plants in a way to look pleasing to humans. I call bullshit. Yeah. I also enjoy that. The entire premise behind Ivy is that uh, environmentalists suck. Okay. <laughs> that was my entire okay. point here. I, I was just something else is happening. I was just laughing at this entire episode because I'm just like, this is making fun of environmentalists. That's all it's doing. Well, that's all. Not I that I have a problem nuts. with environmentalists. Well, that's the thing. Is that Some how, of you are nuts. That's but, how Roz was originally. Roz was originally an environmentalist. Yeah. Well, I think actually it might have been the the next episode. No, because the next episode's. The dream episode. Oh, okay. No, that's what it was. I originally thought this was the Ra's al Ghul episode when we got to around here. Okay. No, I remember this. And I, I was, was like, wait, Ra's al Ghul is a... And I started thinking back. I was like, all these villains are just environmentalists gone wrong. A lot of them. Not Joker. Joker's just having fun. Well, yeah. I'm saying a lot of them. <laughs> Scarecrow's just insane. Okay, two of them. Covered in tree bark. Yeah, I, I feel like this would kill you. Oh, certainly. Absolutely, 100%. She's got a twig in her hair. She does. It's also not how the transformation works later in the episode, which is always fun. It's also a very strange pose. Yeah, it is. So, <clears throat> the, here's the other thing. Is, I was kind of half watching this, and I kind of knew it was an Ivy episode. But when they send the video, which we're about to see... That's where I was like, this should have been a Maxi Zeus episode. It's the whole Greek theme. It's like, why is this not a Maxi Zeus episode? Mm-hmm. 
Even still, like Ivy and Maxi Zeus team up. Sure, whatever. Alfred being funny again. Hmm. I also like that Alfred is giving a romantic interest in this episode, too. No, he's not. <laughs> he's given, he's the gay best friend of this other older lady. <laughs> They're certainly not. It's Alfred. <laughs> See, this? this is all Maxi Zeus. I'm Lily. Yeah, okay, whatever. Fucking brush your hair out of your eyes. The Eternal You Spa. Hey. Hey, 30-year-old Bruce Wayne, you need to come to the Eternal Youth Spa, because you're old. There's a name for her, uh, for her that I'm not going to say, because it is kind of offensive. But there is a term for what she is. The female friend of a gay man. Beard? No, that's if they were married or actually in a relationship. Uh-huh. But you can see Alfred just hates her even touching him. She's like, He's like, what the fuck? Master Spruce and Sissa review this tape. Alfred, don't lie to the bitch. Just say you're all about that dick. All about that dick. Get that dick. <laughs> no pussy. <laughs> Thank you. I just couldn't find the next line. Dr. Daphne Demeter. When did Ivy have time to create a false identity? In, you don't know when she got out of Arkham. Neither do the writers. <laughs> listen, Joker literally in a matter of hours. Well, jo- listen, Joker's built a professional. robots. Joker's a professional and turned an observatory into a cannon, a laser cannon. But Joker's a professional. <laughs> Ivy is a ranked amateur. For the harried, stressed-out executive, <laughs> that motherfucker ain't stressed. Bruce don't do shit. So chase people around in a gimp suit. Uh, uh, no, no, we can't do that. I love it because he hasn't told Bruce yet. He hasn't come out of the closet. And Bruce is like, come on. Bruce, Bruce knows. Get that Bruce pussy. Knows. Get it. Let come me on, watch. Alfred. I know your dick's frozen. Come on. Just let me watch, Alfred. <laughs> Show me how it's done. <laughs> Vroom. She's also on the wrong side. Yes. This isn't... This isn't England, alright? This is goddamn America. America. What do we do That's this? not English. I don't care what... The, I know they're trying to be all fucking classy. No, that ain't English. Alfred can speak. We'll be filling in for Mr. Wayne. I love that. Ah, fuck it. What should we do? We sen- <laughs> ah, fuck it. We sent you one ticket. <laughs> Why do two people show up? Um, but this is and this is the conceit of the episode. Bruce can't go because he would have been like, "Bullshit, you're poison ivy." <laughs> Immediately, he was just about, "Bullshit, you're poison ivy." What? <laughs> gay Alfred. <laughs> Dad is gay Alfred. He is an old queen, angry with his straw hat on and a fly swatter. <laughs> my special enzyme. It's everywhere. It's in the air. It's in the water. <laughs> it's, it's in this in cookie. Th- that's mm. green. Yeah. Well, I, I've eaten green cookies. <laughs> what a relaxing thought. <laughs> they were Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cookies. Don't worry. They're non-toxic. <laughs> I even put little bandanas and eyes on them and they were faces of the turtles and then I ate them. That's acceptable. Alfred blushes a lot. Do we turn all youth? Yeah, we'll just drink this totally untested weird shit you gave us. I'm sure this will be fine. They're rich. They can afford the cure. Apparently. It's actually quite refreshing. Mm. 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 Tastes like cum, yeah. I can fit this whole cookie in my mouth. (laughs) Uh, Maybe a little little dribble on my chin. (laughs) Oh, Alfred, you old queen, I love you. It's a real brain buster. Shut up, Gordon. Nobody talks like that. <laughs> Mining heiress missing. Yeah, it's the 30s. There were a lot of those back then. It's when mines were still a thing. Well, 
I mean, I know Cole's coming back, right? Of it's, course, yeah, we're but... making America great again, so. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just choked on xenophobia <laughs> and racism and misogyny. <laughs> Bruce, you just can't break into people's houses. Why not? <laughs> love for that to be an actual conversation. Well, how did you find this? I, I went to her house. You went to her house? <laughs> yeah. Was it outside? Oh, no. It was on her uh, It was on her uh, entertainment center. You broke into her house. Well, I mean, I didn't have to do that much. I just had to kind of jimmy a window. Can the window lock now, Bruce? I mean, what's locked really mean? <laughs> <sighs> That is a fabulous Alfred. Yes. And then Bruce is just like, huh, you're not spotting me in the gym. Hmm, okay. I guess. I guess if you say so. How am I going to work out with all your testicles hitting me in the t- face? <laughs> That's a thing that just happened. Yeah. I'll be feeling like a new man. A new straight man. I mean a new man. <laughs> Poison Ivy starts a gay the pray the gay away camp. The naughty boys need to infiltrate a pray the gay way. <laughs> oh yeah, because the joke there is that they're not even gay. <laughs> but they're just like, just literally free flight fly. Yeah. Ooh. She's like, oh, maybe he will come around. And he's like, I'll come around that ass. <laughs> Alfred just might be into pegging. I mean, that's fair too. Who among us hasn't thought about it? I hasn't? Think- I mean, hasn't. Has- hasn't. <laughs> Not even a little bit. I think we might have lost. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking Knight's Cursed. I do love this too. Alfred, it's a cave. Just hits it. <laughs> but it's... why? Well, I want some plants to spruce the place up a bit. It's a cave, Alfred. They're all going to die. <laughs> do you want to turn this into a cave of death? Because that's what you're doing. And then it's going to reek. And then I'm going to make you eat it. Yes, it's so lovely. <laughs> Ab fab. <laughs> I was gonna do it, but I'm not gonna. These motherfuckers gotta pay. They gotta pay to play. Special spa water. Yeah, that doesn't sound terrible at all. Demetrite. Demetrite. Whatever the fuck they call it. It's all made up. It's not how Greek works. Mm, excuse me, sir. A little bit's on my chin. Just feels so refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred, you fucked yourself exhausted again, haven't you? Just a case of overexertion. Let me go back to the spa. Or I can get pegged again. <laughs> you get some rest. I gotta go check out something in my one brown suit that I own. <laughs> chlorophyll. He says it, doesn't he? No, at some point he does say chlorophyll. Maybe if I give this to Catwoman, she'll be addicted to the Batman. <laughs> yeah, when they say that, they really that's just code for heroin. Bruce just shot her up with heroin one night, and so that's why she always comes back, because she's got that cat scratch fever. Alright, podcast over. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, I wish I wish I could say that the people I've known that have gotten laid for weed is or for drugs is zero, but it's not. We live in a nightmare world. Oh yeah, and that's why Bruce is in that awful, awful cave with those awful aw- chlorophyll. Yes, the chlorophyll belly stems out. More like borophyll. The human cellular membranes. That's not they how turn it into works. trees. It's not how any of this works. I like this part. I'm going to fill these two together. You like the liquid sloshing part? <gasps> and then it just attacks him. The liquid literally attacks him. By turning into a tree. Yep. Alfred! Alfred! Get all of the trees out of here! <laughs> <laughs> he just starts it. That's what he should have done! He should just start attacking all the plants! Just <laughs> you. Boof! We couldn't keep ourselves away. Maggie, you have a real manly voice. Your bodies are primed and ready for the rejuvenation. Come back to life. As a tree! <laughs> Behind this curtain, we'll explain everything. Uh, hmm. 
I mean, I've never taken something that big, but sure. Me for wait, <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> this isn't the fun time hour. Maggie, now is no time. Uh, I'll suck dick forever. <laughs> oh, it was Ivy. me, Poison Ivy, the whole time. In your bodysuit. Which I still prefer to the weird naked bikini Ivy that they do sometimes now. Just seems odd. Still call bullshit on topiaries. Batman getting his back lighter out just because he likes the exercise. What I don't like is he has the, a the jet. New... He has a car, but he brings in a fucking hang glider like a goddamn hippie. Well, so he can sneak in. I learned this from Catwoman. See, what I don't like is the newest version of Ivy, okay. where she's basically Swamp Thing. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, kinda. And, and that's where because then they can have the growth says like she's naked, but she's not naked. Yeah. But look, the foliage is her pussy hair. Like, okay, whatever, guys. Jeez, <laughs> grow up. Ooh, maple syrup. <laughs> We've never seen green maple syrup before. Poison ivy. <laughs> the green goddess of plants. A high, that's my favorite insult ever. Hey, a high school graduate. No high school graduate. I went knows to who college. Dem- <laughs> no high school graduate would know who Demeter is anymore. Unusual trees. They all have dicks. But they're not frozen. As rare as winter roses, Batman. Why do you always bring the rare shit into your carnage? You know it's just going to get burned down. It's like you hate these plants. Listen, Ivy, you already got me in handcuffs. Nobody touch it. <laughs> Let's just cut to the chase. You want it, I got it. Dick. And then she, and then she starts laughing, see? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, it's... Batman. I'm purely vegetarian. Notice I have two ladies as my henchmen, not men. Just wait until I meet Harley. Oh, then it's treat, love at first sight. I put my curtain up again. I am a showman, after all. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> What's odd is that their clothes turn into wood. Like, the clothes shouldn't turn into wood. Why is this guy flexing? Because he was good at, he was trying to assert dominance. <laughs> oh, punny Ivy. This is cruel. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to hurt when she gets turned into a human again. With that slash and burn outfit. For now, I got his friends. They're old. He's not friends with those people. But look, their clothes turn to wood. It doesn't make sense. Ah! It's Alfred. I was wondering Who's where gonna he went. Who's going to make me chicken noodle soup? Exactly. Who still resists white ruin? <laughs> Before the transformations become irreversible. I mean, you already turned them into wood. They're dead. Yeah. There's The wood has covered the mouth. There's no breathing. Right. The convictions of a fanatic. Ladies. Spray him with my liquid. I know you've never made a woman spray. <laughs> Can't even do it. I never mind. <laughs> I'm going to back away from that one. Not if I use my cape. Because it's definitely not getting all over my clothes. It'll just turn this rope into sausages. Cover <laughs> it did. It turned that rope into sausages <laughs> with an herbicidal antidote. <laughs> Keep spraying. Maybe you'll run out. <laughs> it's fucking Superman. They just throw the gun at him. I'm really good at tying ladies up. I'll be back for you later. <laughs> I like the spandex. All right, Bonds, have more fun. Yeah. Oh. Now. <laughs> This reminds me of being in Nam. I was never in Nam. <laughs> but I do like redheads. Why does she have a trap in the middle of the woods? <laughs> also, why does she shoot his him down? She shoots the rope that releases him. Ivy's really bad. Like, she's great at genetics and the whole turning people into trees thing. Terrible at everything else. She's terrible at dating because her and Ivy never, er, her and Ivy, her and Harley never closed the deal. Yep. 
terrible at apparently fighting the Batman. Not the vengeance of an eco-terrorist. This is why I only burn coal. <laughs> <laughs> the Batmobile's powered by coal. <laughs> That's why it has the big engine on the back. <laughs> and all the kids he finds, he has them shoveling coal while he drives. That was Robin's first job. There's just a bunch of orphans in the back. Because the back cave is really a mining operation to yeah. keep everything going. That's a big old... She got wood. Get it? Get it? Crushed to death by wood. So, that would kill her. Yep. Definitely. Everybody in this place would be dead. <laughs> well, they're trees, so they're already dead. Yes. But if they weren't already dead, they would be more... Because she, she's, she's... She's got gone. crushed. Yeah, she got crushed. <laughs> Jumps through the hole. I like how he does go through the hole, though. Took it to the hole! He just created, like, that's an avatar tree. Yeah. Then he comes back and he's like, I wonder if anyone lived through that shit. Mm. 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 Oh, look, they all just happen to fall on the branches. That guy's getting fucked by a branch, but... <laughs> all right. Ready to get thawed, dick. <laughs> Let me get you two down first. Tying us up. Cr- criminality is not consent. You're outside the law, and so is this love. That's when we find out Batman's a rapist. I mean, he's rich. He lives alone. He's Nobody knows weird, where he goes at night. His weird island. Yep. See, that's but he calls his, He calls his island Robin Island, which is really weird. That's just insensitive. Yeah, Bruce Sorry. is a dick. Like, I mean, Bruce is a dick. Yeah. Like, because he knows that Alfred knows that he knows what really happened. That it was poison ivy and it was the whole plant thing. Yeah. So that's where it's extra dick. That was a strange episode. It was. Still better than any Scarecrow episode because at least, like, you know, Ivy's like, let's try being Greek. Which means she likes it in the butt. Were you familiar with that? No. Yeah. If you were ever to... um, to uh, be serviced by a lady of the night. Um, Greek on the menu means you can put it in her poop hole. <laughs> or his. I mean, I don't judge. I'm not here to judge. Unless you're Marvel or DC. In <laughs> which... I'm kidding. What's that a callback to? Give us two dollars and find out. <laughs> so, yeah, we learned that environmentalists are trying to kill everybody. Well, eco terrorists are. I mean, um, that just goes with the thing. <laughs> I don't know of any eco terrorists that are nice. I mean, what this guy want? No, <laughs> I didn't know where that joke was going. <laughs> Punch it out. I do really want to watch Batman fight a tree, though. (laughs) You can watch Mark Wahlberg fight a tree. (laughs) That's kind of close. No. no. (laughs) I listen. Yeah, I at one point enjoyed the work of M Night Shyamalan with Ding Dong. Uh huh. But I I enjoy the work of uh, Marky Mark. And his whole funky bunch. Feel it, feel it. Got some real good vibrations going. Don't want to. <laughs> Does not want. Does not want. Joe, if people want to feel your vibrations, where can they find you on the internet? <laughs> um, I was gonna, I was gonna say a real escort site, and I decided not to. Uh, JoePank.com. <laughs> Enjoy that frozen dick.com coming soon. Uh, <laughs> you can email me at joe meets world pod at gmail.com. You can look for Joe Pank on social medias. You can subscribe to my podcast, Joe Meets World, where I make people watch Boy Meets World while they're tied up in my basement. If you uh, look it up on podcast apps, it's true. I was tied up when I did mine. He loved it. Yeah. You can find me on Twitter at Fortress Chris or FortressComedies.com. Uh, do all the, the five stars and the likes and the subscribes and the shares and the 
thing with the pudding pop and oh we're not supposed to do Crosby jokes anymore. Um, oh we can when we made fun of him being a rapist. Because he was a rapist. Um so we a, need to set up a P.O. box so they can send us six gold stars in the mail. Okay. But on an unrelated note, would you like a cappuccino? <laughs> I don't drink coffee. <laughs> what is going on? I can't. 